Hi guys, welcome back to our channel once again. This is Tito Angie of Tech the Gadget, and today we're going to show you how you can install your Seagate Farcuda 510M.2 NVMe SSD on your Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro. Let's check it out. Okay guys, before we proceed, let me tell you that you need several tools to actually open up the back panel of your Mi Notebook Pro. Of course, you need a screwdriver to remove all the screws on the side. Please be reminded also that there is a screw hidden in the footing of the back panel, which is this portion. You also need something to pry open the sides of the back panel you can actually use a plastic knife if you have one at home but like me which i don't have i actually use an old reward card or any card like this in your home you also need a suction cap to pull out the back panel i use is the suction cap of the car mount as you can see the screws are already removed i've done that earlier before shooting this video let's take it out and we now have the internals of the mi notebook pro this portion is where we will install the seagate farcuda m.2 nvme ssd Actually, this tutorial is also applicable to any other NVMe M.2 SSD. It so happened that we just have the 2TB Seagate Farcuda 512 SSD. Before installing it, you need another screw driver to remove this screw here. Once removed, you can now install the PCIe NVMe SSD. You just need to look at the slot and pair it with the one in your laptop. By the way, we recommend holding your SSD on the side so that it won't get damaged by static electricity. Okay, once you have that, you need to put back the screw to secure it in place. Once the SSD is secured, you can now put back the back panel. You can actually press it lightly on the side so all the locks will be back in place. Of course, after that, you need to put all the screws back in. After you put back all the screws and everything is in place, turn on your computer, open disk management under the control panel, and you need to see if the installed SSD is in there. If it's in there, it will show you that you need to initialize the disk first in order for you to use that and there will be two options to partition your SSD one is the MBR which is an old protocol what we recommend is using GPT or GUID partition table just click OK on that one and once it is initialized your SSD is now ready by the way you can go to Seagate website and download the SSD C2, the one here, or C2 SSD GUI, and you will have this kind of software which shows the performance of the SSD or the disk installed on your laptop. Basically, that's our tutorial on how you can install your Seagate Farcuda 512 
PCIe M.2 NVMe SSD on your Mi Notebook. By the way, the uh, Seagate Farikuda 510 is available in two storage options. One is one terabyte and the one that we have installed here is two terabytes. The one terabyte is available in the Philippines for 12,000 pesos while the two terabytes is available for 20,000 pesos. That's it guys. For those who are new on our site, please kindly hit subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates in the future. Once again, this is Tito Angie of Technogadget and thank you for watching.